Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Mr. Boskin Does Some Math. Today we're doing illustrative math, grade 8, unit 2, lesson 10. Okay, our first problem here says of the three lines on the graph, one has a slope of 1, one has a slope of 2, and one has a slope of 1 fifth. Label each line with its slope. So, the slopes we have are 1, 2, and 1 fifth. For slope, I always tell every student, always think of slope as a fraction. Slope is the rise over the run. There's two pieces to that. Think of it as a fraction. One is a fraction is 1 over 1. Two is a fraction is 2 over 1. One fifth is a fraction is just 1 fifth. Rise of 1 over 1, that means starting anywhere on the lines. If we go up one unit, we should go to the right one unit. Which line here goes up one over one, up one over one, up one over one every time? That is this blue one. We go up one over one, up one over one, up one over one every time. Slope is one over one. Okay, our next slope is two. Two is a fraction is two over one. Which one of these goes up two over one, up two over one, up two over one? That looks like the yellow one. Up two over one, up two over one, up two over one, up two over one. That slope is two. Well, what's left one fifth? It's probably this one. Let's check it out. I'm going to start in a different spot this time. Pick any point on the graph. If I go up 1 over 5, up 1 over 5, that one is a slope of 1 fifth. Okay, what's next? Draw three lines with a slope of two and three lines with a slope of one third. I will do the two, slope of two in blue. That means I can start anywhere on this graph. I'm going to choose a point here. Two as a fraction is two over one. So I'm going to go up two units and write one. Up two units over one. We always go over the direction we read. Left to right. Up two over one. That gives me a nice line with a slope of two. But this says to draw three lines with a slope of two. So I can pick any other point on the graph. I'm going to choose right here. Up two over one up two over one, up two over one. Ooh, I started in the middle. If I want to backtrack, if I want to go to the left, that's the opposite of the left to right the way we read. So instead of going up, we're going to go down. So I'm going to go down two and back one, down two, back one. There's another line with a slope of two. Now, let's do one more. I'll start here. Up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. There. Three lines with a slope of 2. Now, I want to do a slope of 1 third. So, wherever I start, I want to go up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3, up 1 over 3. That wasn't perfect. Pick another spot. I will choose right here and I'm going to go up 1 over 3, 
up one over three, up one over three, up one over three. And it's dark. Stupid light in my classroom. Motion sensor timer. Okay, another line. I'll start here and go up one over three, up one over three, up one over three, up one over three. There. What do you notice? The big piece to notice here is that lines with the same slope are parallel. Lines with the same slope are parallel. Okay, what's next? The figure shows two right triangles. We get two right triangles, each with its longest side on the same line. How do you know these two triangles are similar? So, this side and this side lie on the same line. This is a right angle and this is a right angle. So we know if we scale up this triangle, if we dilate it with a point on this line, it will go exactly onto the other. Or we could just translate this small triangle so that R goes to X and this angle would be congruent. We know this 90 degree angle here is congruent. Then we would know that angle R and angle X are congruent. If two of the angles are congruent, the third one has to be, so all three angles are the same, so these two triangles must be similar. How long is XY? Well, these are some nice units. We can just count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six units. For each triangle, calculate vertical side divided by horizontal side. So for RST, vertical divided by horizontal is 2 fourths, which is 1 half. For XYZ, it's 3 sixths, which is also simplifies to 1 half. What is the slope of the line? Slope is the rise over the run. Here we had a rise of two and a run of four. Here we had a rise of three and a run of six. Both of those simplify to one half. I should have moved that so that you could read the question. What's the slope of the line? How do you know? Rise over run, two over four, three over six. Anywhere you choose on this line, it should simplify to one half. Slope of that line is one half. Triangle A has side lengths three, four, five. B has side lengths six, seven, and eight. How do you know B is not similar to A? So, easiest way to do it, ratio of shortest to middle side would be three-fourths for triangle A, and it would be six-sevenths for triangle B, and three-fourths is not equal to six-sevenths. Not the same ratio. Possible side lengths for triangle B, so it's similar to triangle A. Well, what if there was a scale factor of two? Then three, four, five would be six, eight, ten. If we had side lengths of six, eight, and ten, they would be similar because there would be a consistent scale factor. Three times two is six, four times two is eight, five times two is ten. You could get a different answer for this. What's most important is there's a consistent scale factor from one to the other 
which gives the ratio of sides the same value. So 3 over 4 is equal to 6 over 8. Those are both 3 fourths. 3 over 5 is equal to 6 over 10. Both of those are equal to 3 fifths. Okay, that's our last question for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.